Someone said, okay, what you're going to do, so to check this out, I found this new thing. Okay, it's really great. What you're going to do, and it'll solve all of your problems, okay? It's really cool. I've done it. Okay, what you're going to do is, you're going to set yourself on fire. <laughs> hear about it and, and we hear this teaching and we, we have a glimpse of it enough in our lives. Our own life experience provides us with enough um, corresponding experiences to say, oh, you mean I can sit in a room and stare at the floor and feel as free as I did when I was a child? You can, you can. <laughs> It's possible. And, and you also know what it was like to be a free child, you know, just, just in awe of, of the moment, you know. We all have something like that experience to connect with. Or, you know, you can fill in the blank and you can uh, um, have all kinds of examples of what we might connect with about these, this teaching. So when you hear something like, that I just said a moment ago, that we have to actually let go of our attachment to all of the fuck yous and all of your wonderfuls in the <laughs> moment to be able to perceive clearly what's happening and respond to it with an open mind and an open heart. It sounds like it's a big job, but we always um, have in our experience the times when we've done that. And we have done that. Everyone here has done that. In small ways or sometimes in big ways. One of the, the fanciful things is a friend of mine uh, came to the Zen Center for many months and then went away and came back. And um, I think I might have done a kill chair too. And she was admonishing me for uh, disrupting my life to the extent that it took to do a kill chair. And she said, well, I went to China and I jumped out of an airplane and I parachuted down to a, to a, a little village in, in, uh, in um, Mongolia. And my mind was completely clear when I did that. <laughs> you don't need to do, you don't need to shave your head and leave your family and, <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> uh, but, but she still needed an airplane in Mongolia. <laughs> but so, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, a lot of times we say, oh, I had such a clear moment. The, the cow ran out in front of me and I slammed all my brakes and everything went into slow motion. And I stopped just before I hit the cow. My mind was so clear, you know. That, we, those kind of stories, you know, not everybody has the same details. Maybe yours was not a cow. But um, we have something like that in our lives, like some kind of big um, uh, experience that shocks us into being awake for even a moment. Um, I also believe that we, that, that we have those kinds of moments all through our day and we just take them for granted because they're not big, they're small moments of clarity, you know. Um, if anybody's ever been a parent, there's that small moment of clarity that you can have hundreds of times a day when you hear a child cry and you respond by just going to them, picking them up, not even thinking, hmm, let's see, what do I do now? You know, it's just boom, right? Uh, there's all kinds of those moments. Just clear moments without the excess, excess baggage of, of this plus and minus game that we play. Of am I a fuck up or am I wonderful? 
Am I doing the right thing or am I doing the wrong thing? Is this good or is this bad? Will people approve of me or will they ignore me? All of those things clutter up our mind much of the time. But every once in a while, maybe multiple times throughout the course of our day, we can have an experience of just doing something clearly. And that's all that Zen practice is pointing to. It's important to remember that our practicing doesn't point outside of our experience to something that we aren't now and might soon be if we practice hard enough and don't eat dinner. <laughs> or drink the right kind of tea or eat the right kind of books or wear the right kind of clothing in the right kind of dharma room. That's a mistake. That's the biggest mistake of the big ideas, is to have this idea that I don't have something that I need and I'm going to do something in order to get it. Because that is just not the case. The case is, you have everything you need in this moment and in every moment. There's nothing lacking in your experience. And the qualities of presence and acceptance and relinquishment, which is to let go in a, a kind of uh, free-flowing way, is uh, what our practice is pointing to. Not uh, gaining or achieving or collecting or filling in something that wasn't there. Bonnet.